thing wobbing. Is going on guys it is zerk stream today with another youtube video and today we have the most feared promo and you get the most feared starter pack to start off so let's get right to this and see what we're gonna get so everyone gets this pack and it's probably gonna have some kind of bullcrap elite so yes we get an 80 overall ray lewis and an 80 overall ray or tony gonzalez so let's take a look at these guys and they probably don't have the best stats but they are free cards so honestly you can't really complain 67 run lock compared to zach Ertz. he's not as good as zach Ertz. And basically, everyone has this Zach Ertz. This is just to introduce you guys into what they're going to go to. So as you can see, you can earn a 94 overall commander version of Tony Gonzalez. Just go to these sets, and then you can get yourself a new Tony Gonzalez. And then you also have the Ray Lewis and the Most Feared token you get from this. In these sets, you have 9 Scary Tall Players and 3 Scary Strong Players. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Scary Strong Players. So any 8 Elite Scary Strong Players. So it looks like there's just wild cards for that one. And then also for the Strong Elites. So you have to put in 8 Gold, you get 1 Elite. And then you go into the Ray Lewis set. So you need to have the 91 Rashad Jones, Demarius Thomas, Big Ben, Don Terry Poe. You need to have Jason Peters and Miles Garrett. And you get yourself this 94 Raw Ray Lewis now. Wait, wait. Okay, so when you put them in the set, you also get them back, but you get NAT versions, so actually it's not too bad, I guess. But you also get this Ray Lewis, and he's probably going to go for quite a bit of coins. But if you guys want to have those guys on your team, then I guess having them NAT isn't that bad after all. But then if you go to these Scary Tall, there's a ton of different players, so we have the 88 overall DeMar Dotson. So what do you need to have for him? Okay, so you need to have 10 of the most feared tokens. Then you need to have two elite scary tall players to get the Namor Dotson. Then you go into the Brian Arakpo. There's a ton more players you need to have for this. It looks like you need to have three of the elite scary tall players. And then 20 of the tokens. Take a look at Soldier. He's the same for that. High Tower is actually a 90 overall. So you need to have four of the elite tall players and then 30 of the tokens. Fitzgerald is the same. And then Fitz, 45. So you probably need to have five elite. Yep. And then 40 of the elite tokens. How's it going? Good. And to get a scary tall elite, you add any five gold scary tall players and tone 10 most feared tokens to get yourself an elite scary tall player. Three most feared tokens get you one gold player. And then you also have the scary tall commander, which is going to be Tony Gonzalez. Now you need to have every single player and put them in the set. And once again, you get back those players, but they're going to be an AT. Look at the packs that are out today. You have the gold most feared pack. It contains three scary strong gold or better players. One gold or better player and two additional 65 plus silver better players and one additional silver or better player. Now there's also a bundle out so if you take a look at this 2200 points you get five of those packs and a topper containing five gold scary strong players. Now it's probably gold or better so you can probably pull some elites in there and then we also have the silver most feared pack which gives you one non-auction, one non-trade scary strong gold player and one additional 65 silver or better. So let's go ahead and open up like four of these packs and see if we can get an elite probably not going to as we get a 76 overall robert thomas so 73 block shed 72 power move but he is non-auctionable see if we can get an elite out of this and unfortunately we don't i thought we were supposed to get two golds but apparently we don't next pack let's see what we're gonna get out of this now i'm pretty sure we can pull an elite out of this pack and i kind of want to see what the other guys are looking like so we get a 78 overall can we get an elite and we're probably not going to but we're probably gonna get some decent golds that i can use to throw into those sets and get those elites now there is a way to get free elites i'll show you guys that in a second there's a ton of solo challenges and also objectives and we get a 79 elite smith right there probably should look to the stats because you're usually a really good run blocker on to the last pack though let's see what we're gonna get out of this and we're gonna get come on give me an elite and we get a 79 lee smith so he has 80 run block for a tight end now we also have daily solo challenges now you get two of these every single day so make sure to do these and you get a most feared token item and then you get two most feared tokens so you get three every single day and then there's also the haunted houses solo challenges now if you take a look at these you get a scary strong go player to start two most feared tokens two more another scary strong go player and then you get a ton of more tokens at the end you actually get an elite player so you can use this guy to throw into a set daily objectives you actually get three most for tokens when you complete these so make sure to go ahead and do these every single day and then there is the most feared objective list now once you complete all of these you get a pack containing 13 most feared tokens and you also get seven just from doing all these every single day so if you take a look here win a solo complete a scary strong set complete a scary tall set win a game with one most feared player in your lineup now it could probably be just a silver player or a gold player so you can go ahead and do those sets and then if you have an elite then i guess that works as well win a game with three most 
feared players in your lineup, win a game with 5 most feared players, and then win a game with 10 most feared players, and then you get a ton more objectives if you play the online. So if you take a look here, you get 5 for every single one of these, and then you get a pack with 35 tokens. So you get a ton of objectives done, and you get a ton of tokens. Also make sure to do the solo challenges, and make sure to complete all the sets. A ton of elite most favorite players if you take a look here we have tj ward he's going for about thirty-five thousand coins and most of them are going for about thirty-five thousand coins 85 speed with 88 excel 80 play rec 80 zone coverage with an 87 hit power and if you take a look down here he also has a 73 strength and a catching of a 68 now when i say he's a jumping of 83 he is only five foot ten though block shed of a 73 so actually pretty solid for a budget card and then the one card that everyone's going to want and probably i will go i will probably pick up as well is going to be this derrick henry now if you compare him to adrian peterson 88 speed 85 agility with 86 excel 85 carrying he also has 89 truck and a 79 juke but if you take a look when he enrages he's gonna have 96 strength 96 carry and 96 trucking for 48 hours only so that's going to be that card is going to be absolutely insane take a look at his stiff arm and also his spin and juke 87 stiff arm with a 70 spin move and a 79 juke move take a look here at the 89 overall we have don terry poe or don tari poe compared to aaron donald 93 strength 73 speed 89 tackle with 85 block shed 85 power move pretty solid for don tari poe right there next up we have miles garrett who i'm expecting to have a little bit more speed and he has 82 speed 92 strength that's actually really really good wow and then you also have 88 excel and 86 block shed now if you have the rookie premier miles garrett it should be this card now so if you take a look your Miles Garrett should be looking like this, and that's honestly a very solid card. Take a look at the Jason Peters 83 rim block, but a 90 pass block and an 85 impact block. And then we have 90 overall Big Ben. Let's see his stats compared to the base elite, which is actually my quarterback right now. 66 speed, 90 throw power. It's actually a pretty good upgrade. 84 short with an 86 medium and an 86 deep. 87 play action and a 91 throw in the run. Then we also has an acceleration of a 66. So speed and excel both went up by two. Besides that, his throwing stats went up by about four each. One overall Rashad Jones, and he is looking pretty solid as well. Compare him to Eric Berry, 85 speed. 88 excel with 92 play rec, 89 tackle, 86 zone coverage with a 91 hit power. Now let's see his block shed and his catching, which is an 83, a 6 foot 1, jumping of an 89, and he also has a block shed of 85. So he actually has really good block shed for his safety, and honestly, pretty damn solid of a card. Now if we take a look down here and see what else is up, we have Demarius Thomas, 90 overall. Now we actually have the power up version of him, so we can compare those guys. 89 speed with 82 catch. Still only 82 catch, that's still pretty damn bad. 88 spectacular catch with a 91 release, 85 round one, and 85 catching traffic with a 92 jumping. Now if you take a look at the strength, he also has a 76 strength and a run block of a 73. And we actually have a Ray Lewis up, which I didn't expect to be up this easy, but 88 speed, 93 awareness with 95 tackle, 93 play rec, 95 block shed with a 95 pursuit and a 94 hit power also an 83 zone coverage but i want to see his excel and block shed acceleration of a 91 and a block shed of jumping of a 78 which isn't too bad and he's six foot one block shed of a, oh my god 95 block shed with 94 hit power this card is actually insane Make sure to play the solo challenges and do all of your objectives and go ahead and get yourself these new guys, Tony Gonzalez and also Ray Lewis. And also this Richard Sherman is actually pretty damn solid. So if you play the solo challenges and you play everything, I believe you get like 130 of these scary tokens. So you can actually get this Richard Sherman completely free. All you have to do is use all your tokens and put them in these sets and then also just use the rest of the tokens to get the Richard Sherman. Not to mention if you play every single day, you get the daily objectives during this promo. So we have like... 12 or 13 days of this promo so you can get yourself about 40 tokens easily just by doing that but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment i'll see you guys next time